What is up, guys? Burning Harry here. So, the gameplay in the background is the third chapter of Season 2 of Living Story. I am working on the Risen Wolf. Got a little distracted because it's Guild Wars. But that's basically what's going on. I'm behind, so I haven't played the new content yet, but I hope to get there today. I do have a job interview soon. <laughs> but what I wanted to talk about today was the lack of content for goal-oriented people and ways that ANET can fix that. I suggested on Reddit that possibly they could add a new guild, uh, not guild tier, gear tier every year that would give the people who don't want a gear grind a whole year to make it and people like me who want a goal something to work for every year. Um, that got really, really hated. Um, I've never seen people so mad about the idea of new content in my life, so I decided that's not a good idea. I saved my butt from the downvotes. So I thought about it. What game does gear really well without making it a grind? It's not an MMO, but it's Team Fortress 2. Team Fortress 2, you can play with vanilla weapons and be perfectly fine, be just as good as people with the uh, upgrades, because they're not upgrades. They're side grades. This is, a con this is a concept that are not understood by a lot of people. The concept of side grades is it's better in some ways and worse in others. A great weapon to think about is the baby faces blaster for the scout. It is less accurate, only has four shots instead of six, so you have to reload more often, and I believe it does less damage. It might do more damage, don't quote me. But the upgrade is it makes the scout run stupidly fast to the point where he's almost impossible to hit. So if you're good at movement, you can move around and just avoid damage all the time and shoot fools. That is a side grade. You're losing out on accuracy, you're losing out on damage, I believe, and you're losing out on two shots before needing to reload, but you gain speed. Why can't Guild Wars add something like that? Why can't Guild Wars add, for an example, Cobalt? Don't change the weapon, but take away some of its stats, take away some of the power it adds, take away some things like this, but make it so every swing causes burning damage. You know, because it's a giant flaming sword, why wouldn't it cause burning damage? So you're taking away some of its power, you're taking away some of its other stats, and you're making it hit less hard, but it burns people. And there could be people who want that to happen. Have another one that, um, you know, it doesn't do anything else but add power. That's it. Add power. You're going to lose precision, you're going to lose ferocity, you're going to lose toughness, you're going to lose vitality, but holy shit, you're going to hit like a truck. Okay, so that's something that they could consider adding. Or an armor set that only adds vitality. You know, it doesn't add toughness, doesn't add power, but you have a huge health pool, and it doesn't just add vitality, it adds a ton of vitality. You know, it doesn't add an itty bitty bit, but it adds thousands of health. To your health pool so you have a ton of health but you you hit like a toothpick something like that where it's a side grade you know gives people a reason to go for these things gives you an, a reason to want a different weapon other than ooh shiny because right now that's all it is is ooh shiny because you find one exotic weapon with the stats you want and the only other thing you're going for is shiny there's nothing to spend money on except shiny. Give me something to earn. Give me something to want. Give me something to go for. And I think side grades could be that thing. I'm going to have some World v. World content coming up in the near future this weekend. My guild is going on a big time golem, golem rush. We have a bunch of omegas in the uh, guild bank we're going to use. And that should be fun. I should be keeping that. Vox is famous for having a 10 on 80s and winning so that should be fun to have and get Gate of Madness wanted some more videos of their uh, um, World View World exploits we're demolishing bronze right now we need to move up to silver I think but some people like easy stuff I don't know uh, I'm gonna be covering the new content I'm gonna be covering uh, all the new things going on in the new area the new events etc I'm going to be talking about my desire for harder content. You know, I like to support. I'd like to be rewarded for it by content that's actually hard. 
Um, right now, the only hard stuff is a raw and aether path. No one wants to run it because huh, it's hard. Um, I'm going to be covering stuff like that and how I think they can really add to fractals, add even more levels that aren't reliant on agony to make them harder, add fractals that are just really freaking hard. You know, um, I'm talking about wanting more bosses like Triple Trouble that takes 150 people in TeamSpeak to complete. Um, I really like doing Triple Trouble because you jump in TTS's TeamSpeak and there's a ton of organization. You know, there's a ton of stuff going on and it's really exciting to complete and you get decent rewards. But uh, this has been Bernie Heavy. If you like this video, if you agree with me, disagree with me, whatever, tell me in the comments or comment on my Reddit post. If you liked it, leave a like button. If you really liked it, subscribe. We'll be coming out with more stuff in the near future. I'm getting the uh, itch to get back into this. And uh, as always, have a wonderful day.